Can you teach me? Sure, I'd love to. We have to watch out for the we have to watch out for the British. If the British soldiers here are planned, we're gonna get in trouble. Hey guys, over there. Here they're coming making a plan of how to protect the British from their homes. Then let's get them. Come on, let's run before the British catch us. We cannot let them figure out our plans. Ah! Don't scream, I don't like it worse. Follow me. We'll be safe in here. Now I will tell you how to protect you from the British. Yeah. yeah. The first step is to get a good weapon to use for the British. Come and knock on your, if the British come and knock on your door. For an example, one type of weapon you can use is a rifle or a sword. Step two, learn how to use your weapon just in case the British soldiers come and knock on your door. Hey, I think I hear, hear them again. We have to stay quiet for three seconds. Okay. Hmm. I guess we're just hearing things. That was close. Okay. Now I will tell you step three. Keep at least two colonists on up there on patrol in case redcoats try to sneak into your house. Redcoats could be hiding behind trees or bushes. Step four. If re if a red coat actually comes knocking on your door, open the door and get through. I think the colonists are gonna shoot me. I'm okay, fi finally. Step five. Last, the last way to protect your home from the British is to figure out a plan so the British soldier won't even try getting near your house. For an example, you can have like a couple of people, like a couple colonists in your house holding rifles or any long stick, and then walk back and forth. The British soldiers will think that you are hundreds of soldiers, and they will never come back. Now you know how to protect your home from the British, and they will never come to your house again. Yay!